May I please have your first name? My name is Alif. Alif. Very nice meeting you, Alif. Nice meeting you too. And what is your date of birth? It's October 7, 1997. 1997. Okay. Do you have any particular concerns related to your health? Not really. Just uh, wetness in my ears. Little wetness in your ears. Okay. And uh, itchy eyes in the morning. Itchy eyes. I'll most and um, definitely check those out. And when did these two symptoms begin, Alif? A few weeks ago. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do these symptoms bother you? I would say 7. A 7. Okay. Do you have any other symptoms other than the wetness in the ears and the itchy eyes? No. No? Okay. No other symptoms? No pain anywhere okay. in your body? Any tingling sensations associated with these two symptoms? Not really. Only those two. Okay. Are you on any medication right now? I've been trying to take some. It doesn't seem to help. Mm, okay. So you're suspecting this could be obviously a mild case of allergies. Maybe. Okay. We'll find out. <laughs> and what is the medication that you're in? Do you know the name? Um, I don't really remember it. I can show it after. Okay, sounds good. It's probably an over-the-counter medication. Yeah. Yes, right? yes. Okay, so not a prescription strip. No. Sounds good, Alif. Um, do you happen to know your weight and your height? My height is 5'6 and my weight is 119. 119. And when was the last time that um, you were sick with the flu or the common cold or, or anything? I would say a year. More it's than been, a year ago. It's been quite some time. Oh well, you're pretty healthy then. Now, so definitely because we are in the spring season and we have, we live in an area where there's a lot of pollen, um, the, the two symptoms that you mentioned could be associated with that. I'm also suffering from allergy myself and I, I do get the same thing in my ears and my eyes. But uh, we'll go ahead and uh, give you a full checkup to make sure that there's nothing else underlying that could be the reason. Sure. Thank you. All right. And when is the last uh, time that you had blood tests done? Um, uh, three to four months ago. Three to four months, okay. And do you know if those were all normal? Totally fine. That's very good news. Okay, I'm going to send in a request to get a copy of those from your previous doctor. And I see that we have your insurance on file. Associated with your ear, have you ever had any tinnitus, any ringing in your ear? Any unexplained sounds or noises that you hear? No. No, that's good. Okay. And any history of blurred vision or double vision for your eyes? No. Nothing. That's good. Okay. Sounds good. So I do have your medication here, your history. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put this down for now and I'll sanitize my hands. And I'm going to begin just by taking your vital signs and making a note of those and um, then I'll focus on your head, your arms, your torso, your legs and your feet. Sure. 
as well as your tummy. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Gonna start off by just taking your temperature. Behind the ear. 98.4, so you don't appear to be feverish. That's good. Yeah. I'm going to check um, the levels of oxygenation in your blood. May I please have your index finger? And just relax. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we should be getting a reading just about now. Okay, so I'm seeing 99% oxygenation and a good steady rhythm for your heart of 80 beats per minute, so quite normal. Okay, I'm gonna set this down. And I'm going to use my stethoscope to just do a very basic uh, check of your heart and your lungs and I'll be looking for any abnormal sounds, any bruits, anything that may you know, indicate something abnormal with those organs. Sanitize it first. Okay. So it is a little bit cold. Is it okay if I slide this in right here? Of course. Okay. Just breathe normally. So I'm hearing a normal rhythm. I'm hearing S1 and S2, not hearing S3 and S4, so no extra sound. Take a deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. crackling or swooshing lungs are normal as well okay let me just take a note of these observations so normal temperature S1 and S2, no S3 and S4 could be heard. Normal, steady heart rhythm. Blood oxygenation was within normal limits. Very good. I'm gonna go ahead and check your pulse as well manually. I'm gonna do it um, in three different locations. At your wrist, your brachial artery, as well as your carotid artery. So I'm going to start off with your wrist. You can just breathe normally and relax. Okay, that's good. I'm able to feel your pulse about 85, 86 beats per minute. That's good. Your brachial artery. I'm going to be looking 
at the character of the pose. We want a normal character, not hyperdynamic, nor not weak or or thready. Okay, that's good. Excellent. And over your carotid artery. Good. Normal pose. All right. Next up, I'm going to put my gloves on. And I'll start by just doing a general inspection of your face, your scalp, your skin on your arms. And um, we'll take it from there. Okay. and explore your face and uh, look for any lesions, any moles, any scars and um, see how your face area looks like. reactive to my touch. Good elasticity. No moles. And you can just close your eyes and just continue breathing normally. Okay, I'm just gonna touch the skin lightly. And See the response. Okay. Okay, one more here. Well defined margins, one color. Not concerned about it. I see that your eyebrows are full. Hair distribution looks normal. Eyelashes as well. The mouth is symmetric. A couple of small moles on your face. Same observations, one color, well defined margins. Couple of other moles on your neck, less than two to four millimeters. No discharge on the outside of the ear or a comb. Gonna take a look over on this side as well. sensation. It is. Okay. 
I'm listening for the resonant sounds of your skull and checking for overall bone integrity. sound. I'm going to do a little bit of a deeper percussion with my fingers next. Go ahead and feel your head next. Have you had any trauma to the head ever? No. No trauma. Good. <laughs> any pain, any migraines, anything that's bothering you? Um, not really. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just press a little bit on your skull and apply some pressure. bone process behind your ear. Good. And over on the other side. Okay, good. I'm gonna feel for any lumps or bumps next from the back. Okay. Your head is symmetric. your lymph nodes next to I electrified your, your hair. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and press on your lymph nodes over on this side. I'm gonna start in the front with the pre-auricular lymph node. Good. Not swollen, a little bit mobile. the posterior auricular in the back. Not enlarged. Occipital. Not enlarged. Superficial cervical. Deep cervical and posterior cervical. Good. Okay. Tonsillar. Okay. 
Submental. Okay. Yeah, I can feel it. And sub mandibular. Good. The front side. Tonsillar. They're all mobile and not enlarged. Okay, I'm also going to feel your auxiliary leaf nodes right here. So just relax, making sure it's mobile. Yep, and your pectoral right here. Over on this side as well. Okay. Axillary. And pectoral. Okay, that's good. And just feeling the neck lymph nodes from this position as well. Occipital and the cervical lymph nodes. The supraclavicular ones right here above the clavicle. Perfect. Okay, very good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just look at the skin on your arm. making sure I'm not missing anything, any redness or swelling. No signs of edema. And over on the inside of the arm as well. You can place this one down. I'm gonna take a look over here. Good. And over on the inside. No lesions, no scarring. Just gonna feel for any signs of edema or any inflammation, any swelling. Good. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of pressure on your paranasal sinuses. I want you to tell me if that's um, you know, discomforting you in any way. Oh. Okay. So starting with the frontal sinuses. Okay. They don't seem to be enlarged. I'll go ahead and tap. And over here too. And right there. Okay, good. Alright. 
and right here the maxillary sinuses okay a little bit of a congestion right here I'm able to feel it with my hand I'm gonna go ahead and do a test that's called a trans illumination test I'm gonna shine a light on the sinus right here and I want you to open your mouth and I want to see if I can okay yeah it's a little bit congested let's check this one you can open your mouth getting a little bit of translucent glow but not much yeah I do seem to have a little bit of a congestion right here probably due to allergies that's what I'm suspecting as of right now but we'll go ahead and do an um, inspection of your eyes and ears mm -hmm. as well did you feel any pain when I was touching you? no So I'm going to focus on your eyes next and I'm going to check for the pupillary response. I want you to just look straight and I'm gonna shine my light in your eye. I'm gonna try to isolate one of them. Okay, that's good. Yes, right pupil is accommodating. is accommodating as well and I'm going to check for the consensual response as well not just a direct one which is what I just did so I'm gonna do this and then check the other okay oh, good strong light oh, okay. sorry just one more it's okay oh, okay good so both direct and consensual responses are accommodating your pupils are round and reactive they respond synchronized which is very important um, so let's check your peripheral peripheral vision as well sure so I want you to look at the tip of my pen and I want you to just not use your head only use your eyes and follow this okay can you tell me how many fingers I'm holding up here too very good continue looking right here and how about now how many fingers am i holding up one one finger perfect right now i want to check um, the mobility of your eyes so peripheral vision is okay now let's check mobility so continue looking right here i'm gonna bring it closer I'm going to move the pen in all four quadrants of the vision field. And I want you to look in the distance at the wall and now the pen again. Perfect. Great. So good mobility. Binocular vision is intact. Peripheral vision in the field is okay. I'm gonna go ahead and look in the back of your eye next at the retina and um, uh, the macula and see if I can detect any abnormalities such as macular degeneration or anything that has to do with the retina of the eye. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm gonna use my ophthalmoscope for this and gonna have to shine another light in your eyes I'm That's really okay. sorry I'm gonna just first make sure that it's nice and clear okay I can see you quite clearly perfect so now I want you to look in the distance for me and okay let's see perfect Okay, 
I'm able to see the optic nerve and the optic disc. Macula is well defined. No white spots. Optic nerve is intact on this side. I want you to look up for me. I'm gonna take a look at the conjunctiva, which is pink and moist. Good. And the sclera is white. I'm not seeing any popped blood vessels. The eyeball is not bulging. Okay, very good. I'm gonna check the other one as well. Making sure that I can see you clearly with it. Okay. Perfect. So continue looking in the distance for me. Just calibrating my ophthalmoscope. Okay, perfect. And I'm gonna come really close. Optic disc is intact, no popped blood vessels. Can you look into my ophthalmoscope right now? Perfect. Macula is well defined. Not seeing any signs of macular degeneration or any abnormalities of the retina. That's good. Yes, very good. I'm gonna go ahead and um, test your visual acuity. Do you usually wear glasses or contacts? I do not. No, okay, good. So this is called the Snellen chart and I'm gonna ask you to read this last line for me and um, I want you to cover one eye for this. L, T, F, P, H. Perfect, okay. Now cover the other eye. And I want you to read the same line, but backwards. H, P, F, T, L. Very good. So you have 20-20 vision in your eyes. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple of notes of these. Observations. So eye exam checks out. You know, positive findings. No signs of macular degeneration. Sclera and conjunctiva looked good. Optic nerve intact. We saw sinuses earlier. Mobile. And not enlarged. Lymph nodes checked out. Okay. Very good. So I'm going to focus on your ears next. You mentioned you've not heard any any sounds or any tinnitus or anything. Any um, discharge that's not clear. That's a little bit, you know, yellowish or any other colors. Oh, not that I noticed. No, okay. And the itchiness, um, does it happen more during uh, some time of the day for your eyes and, and the wetness in your ears, did the symptoms appear more in the morning or in the night? Uh, it usually appears more in the morning. More in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, no pain associated with any of them? No pain. Okay. And have you noticed both of your ears and eyes affected in an equal amount? Mm. Or one more so than the other? Well, I believe sometimes my right ear your right is affected ear. more than the left one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me just make a note of that. 
that may be important going forward. Okay, so right here. Good. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and inspect your your ears. Just taking a look in my otoscope on the outside of the ear or a cone. Any pain when I pull up? No. How about when I pull down? No. Good. And laterally? Mm -mm. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and check the tympanic membrane, the ear canal next. Okay. You have quite a small ear canal. <laughs> I'm looking for any discharge, any sign of an infection. Um, I'm seeing a little bit of redness on the ear canal. That's mostly on the outside. Your inner ear looks okay, but uh, let me just take a look at the tympanic membrane. Be able to visualize it. Pearly gray color, not inflamed. So your inner ear looks okay. It's mostly just the canal that's a little bit mm -hmm. red. Okay. Let me take a look here as well. Normal ear or a cone. A little bit of wax build up. That's quite normal though. Mm. Yeah. Same observation. A little bit of a redness and wetness on the uh, canal, but mostly towards the exterior, which is um, mm, consistent with the allergy. Mm -hmm diagnosis that we're working with as of right now. I'm going to test your hearing next. Okay. I want you to close your eyes and um, I'm going to make a sound and I want you to try to point to where the sound is coming from. <laughs> concerns there. I can hear. Yes. I'm also checking the cranial nerves as we go through these tests. The cranial nerves are um, 12 nerves that go all the way from your brain throughout your body and they control various mechanisms of your body such as your sight, your hearing, your sense of touch, your smell, your tastes, all of your uh, senses. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I'm gonna focus on your nose next. I'm gonna just begin by doing just a light palpation. Okay. I'm not feeling any lumps or bumps. Do you feel any pain when I do this? Mm -mm. How about when I do this? Good. Take a deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Okay. So one of your nerves is not as patent as I want it to be. You have a little bit of a congestion right here. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and look inside your nose as well. one that was patent looks okay no discharge and let's see the left one that was a little bit stuffed a little bit of a redness but uh, no discharge which is good okay I'm going to test your sense of smell next 
So I want you to tell me if you can smell this and what it, this is. It is like a medicine. Rosemary? Rosemary. Good. Okay. Now I'm going to give you something to taste. Let's see if you can taste properly. Good. Stick out your tongue. What does that taste like? Vanilla? Vanilla. Good. Alright. So you can taste. And you can smell. We got those two down. I'm going to look in the back of your throat. And um, see if there's any inflammation, if I can spot your thyroid gland, which I should not be able to, um, and whether you have any infections going on that we should treat. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and stick out your tongue for me. Say, ah. Uh, mm. Yeah, not seeing any redness. Couldn't spot your thyroid, which is good. Also going to go ahead and palpate your thyroid since we're here. It should be fairly palpable and not enlarged. Good. Can you swallow for me? Mobile. Good. I'm going to try to fill it from the back as well. All right. Go ahead and swallow for me. Perfect. So your thyroid gland is not enlarged and no, no signs of any concern. Good. Next up, I would like you to lay down and I'm going to auscultate your tummy and palpate per cause and um, explore a little bit your um, internal organs, check their size and uh, see if there's any, any concern there. Okay, of course. All right, the leaf. I'm going to begin by doing a light palpation of your tummy. Is it okay if I lift up your shirt a little bit? Sure. Okay. And is it okay if I also pull down your pants? Mm. All right. So just go ahead and breathe normally. I'm going to attempt to feel your major internal organs, starting with your liver, your stomach, your spleen, your kidneys and feel for any masses, lumps, bumps, anything that shouldn't be there. Not feeling any masses. I'm going to check the size of your liver and I want you to help me by taking a deep breath in and then exhale out. Okay. I want to feel the tip of the liver right there. Good. Perfect. Quite smooth. And feeling your spleen. Have you ever had any problems with your spleen? No. No, good. And I'm also going to feel your kidneys. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. And exhale out. Applying pressure. Okay, good. Not enlarged. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and Ascultate the area.
listening to the renal arteries. Activity can be heard in all four quadrants. No solution sounds. A little bit of gurgling, consistent with a normal abdominal activity. Okay. All good sounds from your abdominal cavity. I'm going to go ahead and lay this down. I'm going to go ahead and check your um, dermatomes. So how well you feel sensations on your skin. I'm going to touch you with the um, fluffy side, do you feel this? Mm -hmm. And I also have a sharp side, do you feel this? I want you to tell me if it's sharp or fluffy or dull. Okay. Fluffy. Good. Fluffy. Good. Sharp. 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 Good. Fluffy. Okay. And do you feel this equally on both sides of your tummy? Yes. How about now? I'm gonna go ahead and do a light percussion of your abdominal area. Um, I'll be listening for the resonant sound and um, I'm particularly paying attention to any potential dullness, anything that's not you know, a resonant sound that I expect. A little bit of a dullness there. So I'm hearing excellent resonance sounds over here. This area is a little bit dull. Did you happen to have a bowel movement today? Mm -hmm. Could explain the dullness over here if you can't remember. I'm gonna just test one more time. Okay, just a little bit of a dullness, yeah. quite normal. All right. I want you to go ahead and lift up your knees a little bit now. Good. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a deeper palpation over in your lower abdominal area. I'm also going to check your skin elasticity. Normal elasticity. focus on your feet and your legs next. Okay. 
Right. Have you noticed any pain in your legs or your feet? No. Do you usually wear high heels a lot? Well, when I wear high heels, I do have some pain, but I think it's normal. Okay. It goes away after you stop wearing yes, that one. It does. Good. Any excess sweating of your legs or any coldness or irregular body temperature? No. Is it okay if I remove your socks? Of course. Okay. So, one. Ooh. Your foot is quite cold. Maybe it's because of the AC. <laughs> All right. A little bit of coldness here. Not cold up on top. Check your capillary refills. Two seconds. Two seconds, quite normal. Gonna check your orbital pulse. Two plus, synchronized. I'm gonna check it in the back of the ankle, the tibial pulse. Normal. Okay. No skin lesions or scars. I'm able to see some blood vessels. A little bit. They look normal. You are fairly skinned, so this is quite normal to see your blue and green vessels. Okay, I'm going to attempt to bring your fingers towards your head. Don't let me do that. Push back into my arm. Good. Now I'm going to attempt to bring them towards me. Don't let me do that. Good. I'm going to attempt to spread your legs apart. Don't let me do that. Mm -hmm. Don't let me do that. Good. And I'm going to attempt to bring them together. Resist that. Good. Okay. I'm going to check your plantar region over on the sole of your foot. And I'll be feeling for any pain or tenderness that's associated with that area. So I'm going to do quite a deep palpation. Okay. To let me know if you feel tenderness, discomfort. That's actually nice. It's nice, good. Okay, so plantar region is normal on your left foot. Let's check the right. No lungs. No bruising. Okay, that's good. Go ahead and check in between your toes for any hidden melanomas, for example, any abnormalities of the skin that can be very easily missed in a more routine checkup than this. Good. Nails are not clubbing or pitted. That's good. No abnormal moles. Okay. Your nails look healthy, no clubbing or pinning. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on your bones in your leg. Check for integrity, pain, good, good.
can lift up your foot just like that. I'm going to tap over on the plantar region as well. Okay. That looks quite normal. Good. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same over here. Good. Next up, I'm going to test the sensitivity in your skin, on your legs, and the nerves associated with the sensations in your feet and your legs. Do you feel this? Good. How about this? Yes. Okay. Do you feel this equally on both of your legs? Good. Equally on both of your legs. Mm -hmm. Good. Equally on both of your legs. Yeah. Equally. Mm -hmm. Good. Now I want you to close your eyes and tell me if this is sharp or dull. Sharp. Good. Up, I'd like to check your dermatomes. So the dermatomes are um, what control the sensations in your skin and I want to make sure that those work okay across the body, across okay. your face, your chest and your arms. So I'm going to be using these two devices and um, we've done the test before. Do you feel this? Yes. And yeah, this is tall and this is sharp. And I want you to keep your eyes closed and tell me if you feel sharp or dull. Okay. No. Good. Sharp. Good. Dull. Sharp. Dull. 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 Good. Sharp. Sharp. Now, do you feel this equally on both sides of your forehead? Mm -hmm. Equally on both sides of your arms? Yes. And equally on both sides of your chest? Yeah. And your hands? Mm -hmm. And the back of your arms? Yes. Good. Shoulder in the back? Yeah. Feeling this equally? Yeah. And feeling this equally? Yeah. Good. Perfect. All right. Next up, I'm going to check your myotomes and um, the myotomes are a group of muscles in your body that are controlled by the same spinal nerve. So I'm going to be placing my hands on you and ask you to resist against them. Okay. So I'll try to push into my arm with your head. Good. Perfect. And over on this side. Good. And I'm going to attempt to push your head back. So resist. Good. And I'm going to attempt to push it forward. Resist. Perfect. You have strong muscles. <laughs> Good. 
I'm going to take your arm and attempt to bring it back. Don't let me do that. Good. And I'm um, going to attempt to push your wrist up. Don't let me do that. Good. So that looks okay. So don't let me bring your arm back. Good. Don't let me bring your wrist up. Perfect. Okay. And now I'm going to attempt to just push you by your shoulders back. Resist. Good. Bring you back. Resist. Perfect. All right. And finally, I'm going to check your reflexes. I'm going to take this arm. You can just let it loose. Okay. Good. Perfect. That's all right. And just let it loose. Perfect. Okay. And over on your wrist, you can just yeah, let it loose in my arm. Good. And I'm not going to hit your watch. Good. All right. And over on your knees. Okay, right about here. Make sure your legs are. Um, just relaxed. Good. And the other one. Perfect. All right. All right, Alif. This concludes the assessment for today. Um, I find you to be perfectly healthy, no red flags, no signs of any concern. I believe that you may be suffering from a mild uh, case of allergies. So continue taking the medication. I can prescribe you something more strong and you can give that a try as well and see if you can relieve the stuffy nose a little bit. Do you have any questions for me? No, I don't. Thank you so much for your help. All right. I hope to see you again soon. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.